mise-en-scene. It's just a snotty film school way of saying everything you see in the frame. And I gotta admit, it is kind of the most important thing when you're producing a video. If you think about it, that's really what video is all about, right? Here are a few key elements of mise-en-scene. Framing. Framing means how you frame the shot. Now, most of you are gonna be talking into a camera the way I'm doing right now. Many of you are gonna be talking into a phone camera or the camera on your computer, which means you're probably going to have a shot similar to what I have. One key way to make that shot look good is to frame your face effectively. When you're talking to us into your camera, we want to see your face, your whole face, and not really much more than your whole face. We don't need 20 feet of headroom above your head. We don't need to see your whole body unless we do. I'll talk about that in a second. And more importantly, we don't want you to cut your face off or cut your head off. We like your head. So make sure that where you're looking in the camera, you have at the very least the full part of your face on camera. You're not cutting us off this way or this way or this way. And then try to make the camera aim mostly straight on at your face so that you don't have too much headroom or too much bottom room. However, if you are demonstrating something and we need to see more of your body, then show us whatever it is we need to see. So if you're painting something, we need to be able to see the picture you're painting. If you're chopping an onion, we need to see you chopping an onion. And if you're showing us how to do karate or yoga, then please make sure your entire body is in the frame. Whatever you are showing us on camera needs to be on camera. Background. It is amazing how many people neglect the background. The first and easiest thing to do to make sure your background looks good is to not have distractions. If you are living with or working with someone else who is on site while you're shooting this conference call, these video calls, whatever you wanna call them, make sure to tell them you're doing this. Make sure to ask them to please don't walk naked behind me while I'm on call with my client. If you have something plain that you can put behind you, a wall, a, a closed curtain, uh, shades, that's great because we really don't care about the background as long as our eyes aren't drawn to it. My house is a complete disaster. I have two little kids at home right now who are doing nothing but making a mess and eating all the time. So I didn't have a clean surface to show you. Even in my home office, it is a nightmare. So what I've done is put a plain background behind me. Now, if you have a nice home office or if you have a nice room where it doesn't matter if we see the background, that's fine. But please be aware of what is behind you. If it is distracting enough, it'll take us away from your message and we won't be paying attention to what you're saying because we're wondering how old that milk is. If you want to research mise-en-scene, and who wouldn't, I can tell you you're going to find a lot of movie critics who recommend Citizen Kane. And I mean, really, what else you got to do these days? And if your answer is homeschool your children, like that would be my answer, well, I can tell you Citizen Kane is like four hours long and really educational, so you're welcome.